Episode 2 The Quest for Spicules The surface of the sun is covered in features that look like needles or hairs. They are called spicules. Spicules are jets of gas confined by the magnetic field of the solar atmosphere. They were discovered in Italy in the 19th century. Angelo Secchi was born in the Italian town of Reggio Emilia, a hot summer's day. He studied to become a priest. However, his real passion was astronomy. Wow. For that reason, Father Secchi observed the sun avidly during his entire life. He made many discoveries. He studied the structure of sunspots with unprecedented detail and accuracy. He discovered the granulation pattern of the solar surface. He organized scientific expeditions to observe solar eclipses. He took photographs of eclipses, showing that the prominences observed at the limb actually belong to the sun. He was a pioneer in applying spectroscopy to study the sun. Spectroscopy? Yes, spectroscopy, the technique that astronomers use to determine the composition, the magnetic field and other properties of the sun. Thanks to spectroscopy, Seki could see some kind of hairs at the border of the sun. Spicules. Spicules are very narrow and tall jets of gas in the solar atmosphere. They have widths of 500 kilometers and lengths of several thousands of kilometers. But their lifetimes are very short, only a few minutes. They appear and disappear continuously. It is believed that there are hundreds of thousands of spicules all over the solar surface at any given time. Father Secchi described these features in 1877 and called them Preteria Ardente, or burning field. Today they are known as spicules, which means little spikes in Italian. Why are they important at all? Well, let's say that the sun is full of unresolved enigmas. For example, did you know that the external layers of the sun are much hotter than the solar surface? The temperature in the solar corona is higher than 1 million degrees, compared to 6,000 degrees on the surface. We still do not know why. However, astronomers believe that spicules may channel lots of energy into the solar corona and heat it as a result. To confirm this idea, we need instruments capable of measuring magnetic fields in spicules before they disappear. The European Solar Telescope will allow us to understand spicules and their role in the heating of the outer solar atmosphere. Finally, the dreams of Secchi and many other astronomers will come true.